Stalker Call of Pripyat is a game full of secrets and mysteries. Among them are a new kind of stashes, which can directly be looted without requiring coordinates. Hello, stalkers, and welcome to the anomalous dugout. It was promised, and I will deliver. In this video, we will showcase all the secret stashes from the Zayton area. So, not far from the spawning point at the beginning of the game, between the, a rock and a bush, you will find a scope, a grenade launcher, and grenades for it. Then, a little bit further west, near a tree and a bush, you will find some supplies as well as a lot of ammo for assault rifles. Then, under this small wooden bridge, there will be a medkit, bandages, some grenades. North of the lake you will also find a lot of interesting supplies inside a bush. Near the northern road of the map there is this pine tree and under it a dragon of sniper rifle with ammo. Now near this location there is a tree and under it you will find an AK with a grenade launcher as well as ammo. Next up we go inside this building, there will be a tractor, and under the back seat you will find some medical supplies. So this is not really a stash, but if you go inside this house which is defended by loads of zombies, and go inside the attic, you will find a lot of supplies mainly ammo for different types of assault rifles, but also grenades, and more importantly, tools for basic work. Near the crossroads, under some rocks, you will find medkits as well as grenades. Inside the burned farm, you can climb this ladder and quickly grab a VSS Vintores here. Once again, under some rocks, you will find a Viper 5, as well as ammo and grenades. Near the dangerous cave, there will be a bush with a Chaser 13 and shotgun ammo. Also, this is not really a stash, but inside the cave you will have to fight a controller, but if you defeat him, you will find a bit of supplies on the tables mainly medical things. Now we'll go into the caves that are located here, be careful because they are full of anomalies. Inside you should be able to find one of Cardon's dead bodies, he is equipped with a special sunrise suit. When you get to the Skadovsk for the first time, don't forget to loot all the small things around, so there are some food items on the tables at the bar, And you can also go into the doctor's office to steal some of his medical equipment. Near the Skadovsk inside some bushes you will find a hunting rifle as well as ammo for it. Further north you will find some grenades under some rocks near a tree. Also the next stash is up this tree, so you'll most likely have to shoot the content to make it fall over, to be able to pick it up. And don't forget that there is also ammo, but also a PMM on the other branch. So you can see that I'm looking for it, but yeah, the, the pistol is on the other branch. So shoot it and you will be able to pick it up. Then we have another stash which is located up a tree, this time it contains some medical supplies. And this one is kinda hard to shoot. I think it may be possible to jump up here, but I think shooting down the things is still usually easier. Next up we have some ammo and supplies that are located here under the bridge. and. 
Here there is a door that can be opened after you destroy this crate. And inside you will be able to find a vodka and a tourist delight. Next we go into the eastern part of the map and at the back of this radioactive truck you will be able to find some food cans. Then go inside the building and be sure to check out all the small entrances to the furnaces. Inside one you will be able to find an AK as well as ammo. Then go to this other building and you will find a furnace with the symbol of the monolith. This indicates that there is a monolith stash which contains batteries as well as medkits. Then go up the ladder and you will find an SPSA-14 shotgun. Near the dock cranes, in the seat of this truck, you will find a Marta pistol with ammo. And up the most northern crate, near the back, there will be some ammo for Kalashnikovs. And not far from here, there is this small boat. And on the front board, you will find an IL-86 with ammo. Now, randomly lost among the bushes, you will find a vodka and a PMM here. Next up, we go to this boat and inside the machine hall where the engines are located, you should be able to find three vodka bottles in a corner. Now, at the place where this pipe is coming from the ground, behind the bush, you will find medical supplies. And a bit further up the pipe, you can jump onto it and follow it to be able to find another stash. Inside this small house, you will find some food items under this desk. And a bit further under this house, you will find a TRS-301 and ammo for it. Next up, you need to go onto the roof of this building and search in the cracks of the planks. You should be able to find an AK in here. Inside this bush, you will find cans and a scientific medkit. Alright, now let's go into the antenna complex building. Inside this building, you will find the vodka hidden in the toilets. And there are also some special ammo in one of the shells here. And inside an electrical compartment, you will find another stash of the monolith. Unfortunately, it is possible that this one is bugged. At least it was for me. I was not able to grab its full content. Sometimes items can clip through the world and things like this can happen. Now in the basement behind these pipes, you will find a lot of interesting ammo. When you go into the basement as part of the mission to find the bloodsucker's nest, you should be able to check the corpses. This one usually has a night star artifact. And in the next room you will also be able to find the other corpses. There are also some grenades in this room that you can pick up by shooting at, like this. And after that you'll cross the room with all the bloodsuckers and end up here where you can find some energy drinks here as well as here. At this point you can jump over the hole and pick up these Hercules. When in the tunnel, don't go to the exit just yet and try to find the dead end of the tunnel where there will be a stash. In the swamp at the Stingray Chopper, you'll find a box with interesting items inside. The second friend of Carden appears to have died here near the anomaly. You'll find an improved gas mask as well as his PDA. Next up we have another stash which is up a tree. So just like last time, shoot it and pick it up. Near the antenna complex, inside this radioactive truck, you will find some ammo. And in the building at the very end of the complex, inside this desk, you will find a black kite pistol. 
Next up we go to the southern part of the map and we have some medical supplies in this tree. And we also have some ammo inside another tree. So, you know what to do. Next up we have this little place which is occupied by mercenaries. I suggest you take the quest and bring them some food so that the mercenaries will allow you to enter without shooting on sight. After that's done you will be able to go onto the roof and find some supplies that are here hidden on a beam. And you'll also be able to grab another set of tools. Next we have some machine gun ammo which is here in a branch in this tree. And inside another tree a pistol with ammo. Near the claw anomaly under some rocks you will find some medkits. Next we have these big rocks and if you crawl under it you will be able to get a lot of small supplies. The next thing is to jump onto the roof of the gas station. So try to jump on the fence and then go to the roof. And under one of the beams you will be able to find a stalker sunrise suit. Then we have some grenades on the roof of this wooden shaft. So you can climb up here and for me the stash was bugged. There was one grenade that I was not able to pick up whatever I was doing. So it's possible that it will bug for you as well. But it's not a big deal. Then at the pump station you can climb this ladder and do a little bit of jumping between those pipes and it will allow you to get a small stash. Be aware that the mercenaries will not really like you doing this. There is also a NATO grenade launcher located here at the back of this truck. If you sneak in the station or just kill the mercs you'll find a lot of stuff in here. There is an MP5 with ammo and food, as well as here and under this table. If you go upstairs you'll find a lot of food as well as ammo. And on the top floor you'll find the Merc's laptop. The next stash is located near rocks and bushes right there. And once again I had a bug, look at this bandage is stuck on the rock and I'm unable to pick it up. And finally there are other bandages and anti-rads under the bridge. At the bridge you'll find an abandoned military column with a lot of supplies, mainly ammo. Don't forget to check the insides of the BTRs as well as this truck. You'll also find some interesting documents about the operation. There is a first AK rifle here and there should be another one in the next BTR right there. Don't forget to check out uh, the back of this vehicle for a lot of ammo and the last batch of documents is located in this safe here. Much later into the game you'll be able to visit this underground location, the testing workshop. Be aware of the zombies in here and you should be able to find some ammo for different types of rifles. Here and here, as well as in the other room. And in the big room with the pseudo giant near the ceiling there are some shotgun shells located here on the crane's motors. And there is also a monolith stash here, so just drop and use these ladders to get to it. So that was the secret stashes and some other small loot in Zaton. If you liked it, be sure to not miss the next part, where we will take a look at the stashes in Jupiter. Thank you for watching, stalkers, and goodbye.